Hello friends, and welcome to ongoing coverage of Cooperstown 2022. Please visit the website at the bottom of this slide to view all of the details and statistics involving the Cooperstown Dream Park experience. The mission of the Cooperstown Dream Park is to provide a cultural and life enriching experience for young boys and girls who love the game of baseball. Cooperstown Dream Park is a family baseball park featuring fun and excitement. Friends and family spend their vacations here watching teams from around the country play baseball. The first step of your Cooperstown Dream Park experience is the send in registration. This needs to be done in July, so this is coming up very, very quickly. We need to pick a week as well as have some additional choices as well. We are not guaranteed any particular week. It is what it is. We get what we get, so we need to be adaptable and give them three possibilities such that one of those ends up being our week. In order to register, we have to put down a deposit. So we are asking each player to put up $150 up front as a deposit. This will allow us to register with Cooperstown as well as be able to start our fundraisers. We need this payment by July 1st. If you're unable to pay, please let us know. In the short term, we will be sending appropriate payment in U.S. currency to Andrew, but we will be setting up a new bank account for our fundraising efforts. Costs and what you get for said costs. So we are estimating around $1,300 per player and per coach. And here's what we are getting for our $1,300 per person. Player home and away uniform sets, player warm-ups, coaches here, you know they need to look stylish, secondary insurance, everyone's got to eat, meals and accommodations, laundry. We are guaranteed six games, weather permitting, and a possibility to play up to 13. Personalized player baseball cards, induction into the American Youth Baseball Hall of Fame, American Youth Baseball Hall of Fame tournament ring, and a digital download of the team webcast game and weekly highlights. Now, how much total are we going to need for the team? Well, 15 times 12.95 is what we are looking at. We have 11 players and four coaches. So that's going to be around 19.4 K. There's some additional costs that we will go over next. Those are estimated to be around 6,800. So we're looking at a total fundraising effort of over $26,000. Want to go over a brief outline of some anticipated extra costs. These are estimated. These could change. These are based upon what we've seen some other teams do. Umpire fees cost about a grand. Pins to trade with other teams around 1400 Photo packages can vary, but we expect to have a photo packages. Some pizza and wings. A team dinner. Towels. Sponsors gifts for all the people that we're going to hit up for our fundraising efforts. Our banner. Bags for pins so we can collect them and not lose any. There's other Cooperstown souvenirs as well as bats. These are wooden bats that we'll see a picture of in a little bit. So we're estimating somewhere in the neighborhood of around $7,000. So these, these estimates came from what we saw from a previous team a couple of years ago. Inflation, as you know, is going up, so we will see how that actually ends up, but we wanted to have some targets in place. 
some examples of where all of these costs end up going. So photo packages, some other memorabilia that can be gotten. This is what the bats look like, pins that can be traded and handed out. Our fee schedule, when are we looking for different amounts to have been raised? Initial deposit for the team due July, that will be $1,000. Then in November, after we get confirmation of our placement in week, we will owe Cooperstown another placement deposit of $3,000. March of 2022, this is a big date. This is the final deposit for the remaining money for the tournament. So that is a key date to have in mind. Then after that, fundraising efforts will then go towards all of our extras, pins, towels, bags, etc. Also, as a side note, we will be purchasing a team helmet, not included in this cost this time. Check with the coaches in the fall. Don't purchase a helmet for spring or summer unless you want one. Some more details. Players and coaches stay together for the week in dorm type accommodations. Families are welcome to attend, but you have to make your own separate accommodations. So keep that in mind. Cooperstown in 2021 required all players and coaches to be vaccinated. It is unclear whether this will be a requirement for 2022, but we should work on the assumption that that will be a requirement. Concerns about this should be addressed with the appropriate people. Time commitment choice per family. As we said, this is a big fundraising, very costly experience. As such, we need to raise a lot of money in order to do this. It's going to require everyone's participation for this. There are four different levels of participation. One is the core committee. This will be a small group of people, approximately four people, and will have a very intensive time commitment. This will be the overseers of the entire process. So this group will be in charge of overseeing all the fundraising, finances, approvals, dealing with sponsors, making sure everyone's participating. This group communicates often, emails, texts, calls, Zoom, again, the time commitment for this option is very, very high. The second level of commitment could be an extended committee. So this committee will include the core committee, but also all others that are interested in planning or leading certain events. Although less of a time commitment than the core committee, the time commitment here is still high because you will really be in charge of that specific event and the details surrounding that event. Third level of commitment, participation. Okay. Maybe you're not able to commit to some of the committees and some of the organizing of all of our fundraising but it is expected that everyone contribute in the participation of the fundraising. This is a key expectation. In order to fundraise, everybody has to be involved in the fundraising efforts. Even if you can't be involved in some of the planning, some of the committee work, some of the organizing, you are expected to fully participate in our fundraising endeavors. Last option, the buyout clause. You don't want to commit to anything. You're going to then put up all of the money that would be associated with your player up front. That's an option. I don't recommend it, but hey, it's out there. If that works for you, go for it. One of the first things we said we need to do is to complete a Google form to confirm family time commitment choice. 
We need this filled out as soon as possible. Please make sure you go into the actual slideshow and click on this form in order to fill those needs. So the goal is to make this a true once in a lifetime trip for the boys and for the team. This should really be a trip that they remember for the rest of their lives. So the expectation is that all families will participate in the fundraising. Don't make us hunt you down because we will. Everybody needs to fully be involved in this and not just the parents. The trip is for the boys. Part of this is a growing experience such that the boys will fully participate. It means the boys are going to be attending all the fundraising events, selling things, writing letters, doing a lot of the hard work. This is not just for the parents. We're there to certainly do our share of the work, but it's all about getting the kids and the boys to work on this as well. So we think it will be a awesome trip, but it's going to take a lot of hard fundraising work for the next year in order to make this happen. If you have any questions about anything in this slideshow, please contact Chris or Anne-Marie in order to get your questions and concerns addressed.